fishing let's talk tackle bait modification video so uh, a while back I dropped the video I went to Cabela's I went to uh, actual fishing expo the Great American Outdoor Expo uh, with a friend of mine a co-worker and uh, while we finished the expo we went to Cabela's afterwards and at Cabela's I picked up uh, this package of 10 uh, Colorado number two Colorado Hildebrandt uh, style hammered uh, blades. So if you ever break off or you need a replacement Colorado because yours is rusted out, you can always go to these packages and get replacement blades. Um, and I was talking about that because the reason I got those Colorados was because during the fishing expo, I came across this guy here, this Danielson Lures spoon. And I was just infatuated by that brilliant orange over that gold uh, copper tone for the spoon blade. And I was like, I love that pattern. Uh, when I'm fishing muddy to stained water, I like that idea of a brilliant, uh, contrasting, bright, brilliant color uh, against my blade, be it silver or copper or what have you. And anybody who fishes spinning blades or spinners, spinning baits, uh, knows those bright kicker blades, especially in the, in the spring and summer um, under dirty water conditions are just killer. So I had this idea of taking one of these and some artist's paints, some acrylics, and a little clear coat to protect it. And uh, so yeah, that's what I had done. I had taken this little spinner blade. It has a four and a half size willow leaf. It came with it a number three uh, Colorado, which I took off. And then I replaced it with one of those Cabela's aftermarket Colorado's and I just threw on some artist paint over top that orange over top of the original the original hammer tone Copper blade so from this to this really simple you have to be kind of careful um, You undo this with a pair of pliers just you undo the wire you'll draw off your beads you'll open up just half of this u-ring so just slide it so that half of it's off the wire. You can take your blade off. Make sure you put the blade back the correct direction. You want your spoon uh, convex side uh, down, concave side up uh, relative. So that will give you that uh, swimming and fluttering action. Then you put your two beads back on. Uh, put your split ring and your, uh, and your spindle here back on. And then tighten back up your, your cable. Um, but it turned what was just a standard silver willow and copper Colorado into something with a hell of a lot more drawing pattern uh, power. Um, I also paired it up with a little Kytec. I dipped the tail completely in yellow chartreuse dip and glow uh, and then I topped it off by just touching the, the tip in the orange uh, dip and glow. Uh, so it gives you that nice little two-tone chartreuse and, and orange to go with that copper and orange tail. So uh, pretty cool. I also use my famous little trick of a little bit of shrink wrap right there on the R bend to prevent the uh, your line from chafing or riding or what have you. Gives you a little place to run your line through, tie it off, and then you know that your line's going to stay in position as you're swimming this through the water column. That was the one thing. The other thing is my MTB box um, came with, with this guy, Hyperlastics. Um, this is their little soft swim bait. It is their dart spin, five and a half inch. And it came with this guy, a little chartreuse willow blade, corkscrewed into the back of the soft plastic. And I said, that would be an awesome idea to replace the willow leaf on a spinner bait with more pop and more drawing power and putting in a chartreuse blade. Now, I'm not going to put it on this specific uh, 
uh, spinner because I think that'd be just overkill. Um, but what I did was I went to Ollie's and I got this guy right here. So we have a white chartreuse, single willow, single co small Colorado blade. The Colorado is a silver tone. The willow leaf is the brass copper tone. It's a 3 8 ounce. And what I did was I took the dart spin and I spun the, because it's got a little split ring right here, I spun off that chartreuse willow. And I replaced it with, again, one of those aftermarket Colorados. So I still have a perfectly functioning um, jerkbait fluke, plastic, soft plastic fluke. It has a Colorado blade, which is going to add more thump as opposed to the willow. Um, but it's still got all the drafting and the resistance to keep this running true. It just changes the color and style from the original OEM chartreuse willow to a Colorado. But that allows me now to throw the Colorado off of that blade, or off of that bait, onto this guy here. So just grab your split ring pliers, trusty dusties, and uh, take off this guy here real quick. Maybe I actually have to do this without one, because it is a small, small split ring. So you just work it around, and that's what you get. Now you have a white and chartreuse with a chrome and chartreuse blade. Keep your original willow. And uh, again, you just changed and customized this blade. Adds a little bit more pop, um, a little bit more flutter and flash and consistency in the color scheme. Uh, obviously, go with you know whatever trailer you, you choose. But... These little simple things, really inexpensive. You got a bait already that you came in your Mystery Tackle Box monthly or somebody gave you or you found on discount, and you can add, add some, uh, some little modifications to adapt to a blade that or a bait that isn't technically, uh, you know, factory original. It gives you just a little bit of uh, a different visual cue to the fish that you're fishing for. So when everybody else is running... Their spinner baits in this time of year, the pre-spawn, the early spring, they're running their, their uh, you know, willow, willow, silver, and gold. You're coming through with something that's different. And sometimes that's the key to catching fish over or behind somebody is just throwing that something that's a little bit different. It's a little bit uh, much of a change from what the fish have been seeing all day, all night for the last couple of weeks. Now you throw this in there and you might catch the bass that your co-angler or you um, your your main boater uh, couldn't quite catch. So, as always, for me to you, keep your lines tight and peace. I'll catch you guys on the next cast. Take care, Hong Kong.